wasted short of all from Jerome Taylor. All credit to Taylor. His first ball after lunch. There was no loosener. There was no wide delivery. Full. It was straight. It just swung on Kevin Peterson. That's why he was working the ball to the leg side. And look at that. What a sight. What a roar from the crowd. Just like the old days. A fast bowler. Knocking the stumps out of the ground. And he knew it. He was off. Catch me if you can. Well, it is a wonderful sight for a fast bowler, this. Any fast bowler. Cartwheeling stump. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? Because it just proves you don't need extravagant swing sometimes. Just enough, just enough. That batsman, Peterson, would have seen that ball out of the hand, would have picked up the early line of the ball, would have started to make his mind up about the shot he's going to play. And then as that ball headed towards him, that little change in direction just made all the difference. Happened on a couple of occasions in New Zealand as well. Got to find a way. It's not easy. It's a slow pitch. But they've got to find ways of getting runs, getting a lead. up again and now goes to finger as well so Andy Strauss becomes the next man to leave the stage he's hung in there gamely grimly even for his nine runs but he is now the fourth man out and West Indies absolutely cock a hoop well that tells you something about that dismissal there's no doubt because the batsman himself has said I am not referring it so it tells you something about this it is out it has been edged the noise is there, Strauss knew it, everyone knew it. Fine, fine bowling from Jerome Taylor. He has three for eight now. And the England captain leaves for nine. His side are in all sorts of trouble, 20 for four. The line to the right-hander in particular, superb. it has hit the stumps he's running but the ball has hit the stumps he's bold Collingwood has to go he doesn't realize it there's no clue what has happened but the ball has snuck through it was another excellent line from Jerome Taylor nipping back at Collingwood full doing him for pace and England in all kinds of disarray that really summed it up with Collingwood being bold and him pairing up and down the pitch for two 23 for five. Well, this will give us a better idea here. Inside edge, yes, and that's why he took off. But the ball just brushed the leg stump as it went down towards fine leg. Leg bail dismissed. He realized what had taken place, or is, is he sure? He's still appealing. It's 23 for five. Here's that dismissal again. From in front, you can't be absolutely sure what has taken place. But this tells us, there goes the leg bail. Right on target again, Jerome Taylor. Well, we were mentioning, weren't we, the liners and... The delivery that got Collingwood was the perfect illustration of this. On or around off stump, angling back with uh, a little bit of uneven bounce and good pace. It really has been a superb exhibition of bowling from Taylor. Right, what Paul Collingwood was doing, airing up and down the pitch, I don't know. That conversation could have been him asking Flint of exactly what had taken place. 